Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What do I have for you today? Today we're going to be doing a prime rib on the Only Fire Santa Maria attachment using the rotisserie on the Weber kettle. Enjoy! So what we have here, we have a 5.16 pound prime rib roast here. So let's get into it. Now my wife picked this up at Costco for me. It's awful nice for us, so we didn't have to go shopping. Um, maybe we'll do a little bit of trimming here on it. The outside might square out a little bit. And then we're going to kind of bunch it up. And we are going to attempt to tie this and get it as even as possible here. Let's give you a little close up over there. Yeah, we should be able to make that nice and round there. Something like so. I'm not going to overhandle it. Alright. So we'll just take her like so. In theory, I'm just going to put some little scores in here. Now I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little bit nervous about doing this on the rotisserie. Those of you who've been following along, I did a, I've done a chicken, I've done a turkey breast, but it's time to get this, this bad boy rolling here. So something like that. And tonight we're just going with a salt burn. Let her burn overnight. Um, well, let's see if we can get her tied up. All right, so just save a little time. I got three pieces of string here. Something like that, we'll call it good. This is kind of what we got. Again, we're just we're trying to even it out, round it out the best we can. And for tonight, all we're doing is we're just putting some salt on. We got a little overnight salt burn, and we're going heavy. Hit up all sides of this baby, even the fat, just because. So I have my charcoal lit. So how I'm going to set this cook up, I'm going to have charcoal on the sides and I'm going to supplement with uh, oak logs. So this is a 60 inch log and this is, I cut them down in half and I found out that cutting them in half little 8 inch chunks or so fit really nicely on the side and work great with the rotisserie. So let's get the finishing touches on this prep of this prime rib. Alright, so there she is after sitting in the fridge there with a nice little salt brine. You can see how that color just kind of pops. Just going to put some avocado oil on her, rub her down. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on some pepper, some rosemary, and some thyme. Throw it on the skewer. We're going to get it rolling. So as the lump charcoal finishes heating up here, I just want to show you my setup real quick. So I got some uh, briquettes on the side and I'll dump this right over the top. Then we will throw chunks of wood on both sides. 
drip pan right underneath the meat in the middle. And that's how we're gonna roll. Let's get this beautiful hunk of meat on. And here's to hoping I don't ruin it. Oh, looking pretty. All right. Away we go. Just gonna adjust my drip pan just a little bit down there. All right, we're golden. All right, let's check it out. We've been going only for about a half hour, and I just kind of want to get a look, see it where we're at. We've got about 61 degrees in there currently. You can see we're we're getting some nice color on the outside here, dripping fat like crazy. Oh, the 70, 70 right in there. So we play around with the wood here. Probably flip the wood and uh, let's keep rolling. We have been going for just over an hour, so let's get a nice little check here, see where we're at. About spot on, 100 degrees. And I'm shooting for about 125 or so. Alright, so we're about 100 degrees in the dead center. We'll probably about a half hour or so. We'll probably start checking her about every 15 minutes now. Throw some more wood on, keep on. This may be the final check here. So we've been going for about another 15 minutes. Let's get right in there. Not quite. I mean, on the edges, of course, I'm a little warmer, but I'm still dead center. Sitting at 116. So I'm saying 15 more minutes, gonna call it good. Because if I don't pull it then, I'm gonna, you know, we're just talking about the dead center there. So hopefully when I open this up, I get a nice, nice uh, ring around the outside with a nice pink center. But we'll see. I mean, I'm having a blast cooking on this thing. I'm just not exactly sure how she's gonna turn out until we slice her open. We'll be back. 
All right, I do believe the time has come. This took about two and a half hours to get it here. Getting some readings of in the 130s there. If I probe right down the center, I'm about 120. All right, let's pull it off. We're gonna tent this in some foil. Let it rest for about 20 minutes. And we'll slice into her. Well, it's been resting for about 20 minutes. Let's take a look. We're just gonna go right down the center, open her up, see how we did. Took the strings off. That's the moment of truth there. There we go. Hey, for cooking it over on a rotisserie, I will take it. So I'm gonna get this all sliced up. We'll come back for a taster. All right, let's go for the taster. I have cheated, I have licked my fingers, I have had little pieces, and it's fantastic. All right, let's go this one first. This is a little outer edge, just a piece of the cap there. Tender, juicy, and on that outside edge, you really get that rosemary and that thyme that just pops. Here is a center cut. Nice and red piece of meat here. Smells fantastic again. So butter, it's a buttery goodness of awesomeness. Best way I can put it. It is so tender and it just melts in your mouth. This was one fantastic cook. At the start of it, I was scared to death to do it. Just took my time, let her roll. Again, about two and a half hours or so. And she's done so. Hey, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like. I'll put a subscribe icon for you right there. Another video right about there. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.